Hi everyone, welcome to your JavaFX tutorial. This video is uh, number one, and today we're going to review the basic concept of JavaFX. These concepts are very, very, very important in order to learn the organization of JavaFX applications. So let's start with the video. So in the first place, let's start with the basic organization of an application. And well, imagine that you have this window, and this window will be called a stage. This stage will have inside of it a scene. And a scene will be created out of a root node. A root node will be um, a, a node that will contain more components inside your application. And these components will be known as nodes. And a node can be, for example, a, a pane. This table here is, uh, is can be a grid pane. Also, you can have controls like a, a button, for example, here. And finally, you can have shapes circle, a rectangle, or a text object. This kind of components will be known as nodes. And all of them will be inside a root node that will be or will create a, a scene. And this scene will be attached to the stage, which will be our main window. That's how uh, a JavaFX application is organized. That's the basic basic organization. Okay, so here we are in NetBeans. Now let's create um, a new JavaFX project. Click on File, then New Project. And then we are going to select a JavaFX application. Click on Next. So the next step is to define the project name and we will use JavaFX test as a name. Okay. You can define the project location and also the folders. Click on finish. Let's wait for the for the NetBeans to create this new project. Okay, so what NetBeans will do for you is to create uh, uh, your JavaFX main class, which is this one, JavaFX test. This class will extend always from application, okay? And also it will create uh, some methods like the start method. Uh, inside this method is where you will add all the components and all the um, specific actions that you want uh, your application uh, uh, performs during execution. So let's erase all the lines of code code inside this start method. We will create them from scratch so you can understand the organization of the of the JavaFX application. So first of all, remember that we need um, a stage. Stage will be the window, your main window. So our stage in this example will be called primary stage. So now let's set a title for, for this, this window, this stage. So we use primary stage. We use the method set title. Okay, now the second step will be to define a root node and then create a scene out of this root node. So we will use a pane, a stack pane, as our root node. And 
and then we will create the scene. Okay. So how we assigned how we how we assign the root node to the scene will be here. You play scene. You use the name of the root node inside this constructor, and then you can define the dimensions of the window. Okay. Okay, so the, the next step will be to define a component or the components inside your, your main window. So now we will define a button. Okay. And let's assign a text for this button. We will use set text. Say hello world. Okay, so what we want for this button to do is to, uh, when we click on it, to display the text say hello world inside the output of NetBeans here, this window. So, in order to do that, we will use the method set on action and then we will define a new event handler okay new event handler Okay, so we have to add all of the uh, unimplemented methods, implement all the abstract methods, and to do this, we click on this uh, icon, and it will give you the option to add these methods. So let's click on here. Okay, then we can uh, we can delete this line. Code. It's not necessary for us right now. And here we will uh, add the line of code, which will be will print the the message in the output. Okay, hello world will be the message. Okay. Now let's close. Here. Okay. The next step will be to add this uh, this button to the root node. So we are going backwards right now. Root get root method get children. Add dot add. In, inside this uh, this method, we will write all the components that we want to add to the root node. In this case, will be only the, this button. So next step will be to add the scene to the primary stage, so we can actually see all the all the components. So let's write primary stage. The last line of code will be the one that displays the window. Okay, so I just want to mention that you can uh, look for all the available methods for each object inside this this menu. 
in this case we write show which will be the one that we want you can see this the option the available options and also a little description here in this window okay so that's it now let's run this this class and see how it looks Okay, so there you go. We have our window, which will be our primary stage. We have the title here, we define. We have the dimensions that we define here. The window have these dimensions here in, in this scene, and also we have this uh, button inside a uh, root node, which will be a stack pane. Okay, this stack pane has been assigned to the scene, and now let's let's see what happens when we click on this this button. Now let's go to the output and see if the message actually yes, it was written here. Hello world, as you can see. So that's how uh, JavaFX okay, a basic JavaFX application works. And actually, I would like to mention another thing. Uh, as you know, well, all, all our classes here needs need to have a uh, a main method. So this is the main method. This method will um, will launch the the application. And the first method that this main method will, will call will be the start method. So that's why you are able to see the window and all its components. So that's the, that's the basic uh, explan explanation uh, for a JavaFX application. So that's it for today guys, thanks for watching, uh, don't miss the next video of the tutorial, it will be about nodes and bounds, so don't forget to like, subscribe and share, post your comments and questions down below and please smile, bye.